Hi, this is Tim Yoder with Fit Small Business. Today I'm going to show you how incredibly easy it is to convert your QuickBooks desktop company file to QuickBooks Online. So, if you've come across this video in YouTube, you might want to check out our page, Convert QuickBooks Desktop to Online, on the FitSmallBusiness.com website, as it gives you written instructions covering this same material. So, let's get started. So I am at my dashboard in my QuickBooks desktop company. So before we do the conversion, there's a couple of things we want to check. First, we need to check the file size of our QuickBooks desktop company file. So in order to do that, let's make sure I'm clicked on our QuickBooks desktop. And then I'm going to hit F2. And that'll bring up the product information. Now I want to check the... Uh, total targets and here our total targets are eight so this is an incredibly small file we haven't really done anything with it um, yet if this target is uh, over 350,000 um, then you're not going to be able to uh, very easily convert your data over to QuickBooks Online you're going to have to first um, condense it and if you look in our uh, written article we will provide a link to instructions on how to condense your file Honestly, if your targets are over 350,000, you're probably already having issues with QuickBooks Desktop. As those files get too large, um, you start to just kind of get random errors. Um, so if you are over that limit, you may consider simply setting up a new company in QuickBooks Online and importing your lists um, as we show towards the end of our written article. So that's our first step. Let's make sure your company file is less than 350,000 targets. The second thing we want to do is we want to back up our file in case anything goes wrong. So we're going to, to back up the file, we're going to go File, and you probably already know how to do this, Backup Company, and create a local backup. Okay? Then there will be a wizard, and that will show you uh, how to do your local backup. Now the next thing we want to do, make sure that your company file is located on your hard drive not on a network drive for whatever reason uh, Intuit really recommends the file be located on your hard drive um, so I think we can might be able to look at it here yeah so here we can see that all my company files are located on my C drive so you might look make sure that your company file is on your local hard drive not on your network and if it is on your network you'll need to transfer it to your local hard drive okay so those are kind of the the basics um, to get started now the next thing we want to do is we want to create a QuickBooks online account um, very simple to do so we go to just our the Google QuickBooks go to their website um, in their plans and pricing you can choose which plan you like um, if you don't uh, if you're not sure which plan you need, we do have an article for that. Um, it's fitsmallbusiness.com slash QuickBooks Online Comparison. So once you decide on the plan that you need, you can simply select it from their website and it'll walk you through a short wizard. You can choose either 50% off for three months or a free trial for 30 days. So go ahead, get that company set up. It'll just ask you very basic information. Don't put any financial information in yet. Um, just set the company up. Once you do that, then we can move on with our conversion process. So let's go back to our QuickBooks desktop program. Okay, now we can actually export our company file to QuickBooks Online, and this is surprisingly easy. Although, if you're familiar with QuickBooks, they've been pushing their online product um, for a number of years, and so I guess it's not all that surprising that they make this conversion pretty darn simple. So let's go to Company. And let's go down to export your company file to QuickBooks Online and click that. Might take a second to pull up. Okay, there we go. One more minute. Maybe one more minute. Okay, and there we go. So it gives us two choices here. If you already have QuickBooks Online Company set up, then you can just click Move Now. Um, if you want to set up a 30-day free trial, you can click Try It First. Okay, so we're going to click Move Now. Now we have to deal with inventory. So if you have inventory, to be honest, you probably need 
to consult with your tax accountant. So the issue is that QuickBooks Desktop uses the average cost method to calculate your cost of goods sold. QuickBooks Online uses the first in first out method of calculating cost of goods sold. Well, if you do this, if you have inventory for tax purposes, you're not allowed to change methods without getting IRS permission. Um, so you really need to talk to your tax professional. So if you track inventory in QuickBooks Desktop, I'm going to recommend that you go ahead now and click no, don't move my inventory, talk to your tax professional, and then you'll have to deal with inventory later. So let's hit save and continue. Okay, and now you can see it's logged into my QuickBooks online account. And I can choose to create a new company. So I can click create a new company. I don't want it to be imported into one of my current companies. I want to create a new company. And I'm going to hit continue. Okay, this is pulling the company name. And now I, from this point, I'm not going to hit upload because I don't want it to actually create a new company and start charging me for it. Um, so I'm not going to hit upload. You'll want to hit upload and continue with the process. So once you do that upload, then you'll get a screen showing you that your data is being moved to the cloud. And then eventually you will get a congratulations message. Now, if it's a large, large file, it could take some time. It could take up to several hours for them to convert your file to QuickBooks Online. So be patient. But that's all it's to it. You've already now you've now converted your QuickBooks desktop file to an online file and you're ready to use QuickBooks online. If for some reason this didn't work, perhaps your um, size file was too long. There is another way to do it. Uh, you have you can transfer lists instead of converting your desktop file. This is a much longer method of doing it. Um, but if you're QuickBooks desktop file is corrupt, then this is certainly the better way to do it. Transfer individual lists. And again, you can go to our web page here and look at the written instructions for that. But the wizard we just walked through should be successful for 99% of, of people, and hopefully you are one of those. Uh, again, my name was Tim Yoder with Fit Small Business, and this was how to convert your QuickBooks desktop file to QuickBooks Online.